Hi there, my name is Amir. I'm an information security analyst. Today we'll be looking at how man in the middle attacks affect your browsing experience. A man in the middle attack is when an attacker intercepts your connection to the internet. This allows the collection of all data being passed through. Usually these types of attacks are done in public areas like cafes, hotels, libraries, universities, airports, places with public internet access. There is no user interaction, no pop-ups or anything when this occurs. You'll be browsing the internet like you normally would and then at the same time someone out there is watching what sites you're browsing, what you're looking at, all the images and also credentials you might enter to some website, maybe a bank, and all this data will be intercepted. The attacker will also obtain your username and password for that site and the worst part is it's quite trivial, anyone can do it. We'll be looking at how man in the middle attacks can be prevented through network isolation. We'll be experimenting with two types of browsers. One is a local browser you're already familiar with, Microsoft Edge, and the other is a cloud-based browser called Silo. To get a better understanding of how this attack works, I've set up two computers that will be running at the same time. One is the victim computer and the other is the attack computer. We'll be logging into various websites, browsing like normal, and while that's happening, the attack computer will try to intercept our connection and collect all our data. Here are some websites that we'll be logging in. We're using Microsoft Edge to log into these websites. As you can see, all these websites have something in common. They are all being served with no security. No TLS, no SSL is present on any of these sites. None of these sites utilize these protocols, and so all the data being sent to the servers is not encrypted, which, you know, allows man of the middle attack to be implemented. Look at what we have here. This is the attack computer collecting all the data as we log in. We'll come back to this later and take a look at what it was able to collect. Notice how nothing abnormal is happening to the victim computer. No malware, no pop-up, absolutely nothing is happening to our browsing experience. This attack is completely silent. Let's take a look and see what happened in the attack computer. We're now on the attack computer and this is happening while we were logging into all these sites. One by one each login submission is recorded. What's fascinating is how the username and password isn't the only thing that's intercepted. Other fields and types of data are also collected. Just for convenience sake, I've placed a filter on the type of data that we want to look at. That way we aren't looking at any of the useless junk that has no value to an attacker. So now what we've explored on how data is collected remotely via interception, we're going to look at the same exact experiment conducted, only this time we'll be using Silo, the cloud-based remote browser. Silo offers something that local browsers do not always come equipped with, and that's network isolation. Instead of directly connecting to the sites and the servers, we'll be connecting through Silo's own set of servers. This breaks the method in which man-in-the-middle attacks work. Nobody can intercept your connection since Silo's own servers will be handling all your requests. This means that even if the site doesn't utilize TLS or SSL or any other cryptographic protocol, your data is still safe within the client. Let's go back and check what the attack computer was able to collect. So now we're on the attack computer. We have the same filter applied, so it will only show us the credentials collected. And um, it's no mistake that there's no credentials collected. The man in the middle attack has failed. Let's take a look at the raw data collected without the filter. There was data collected, but it's all useless. It's all just connection information that says you're connected to silo server. Everything else is encrypted with TLS. So what about the other data we mentioned earlier? Allow me to show you something quite clever that an attacker can also do. Hmm. I'm by myself currently. I think I'm going to look at some pictures. Yeah. Look at all these dolphins. Oh wow, look at their snout. Yeah, these dolphins are massive. Just look at the way they swim. Hmm, I wonder what this guy is up to. He seems so odd. What the? Are these all dolphin pigs? That sick b Yeah. Man, I sure hope no one sees all these dolphin pictures. Oh shoot, I think someone's coming in. I should close the browser. Hmm, let me just take all these. Hmm, let me just uh, click save right here. Yeah, that should do the trick. What a weirdo. Look at all these dolphins. He was looking at hundreds of them. You don't have to be obsessed with dolphins for this trick to work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and try the same trick, but on Silo. Remember how previously I had said that this only works if the site has no type of encryption protocol? We're going to use Bing, 
Microsoft's multi-billion dollar search engine is serving you all these images in plain text HTTP. This just shows how you're truly never safe from this style of attack. Let's go ahead and take a look at the attack computer. Would you look at that, no data was captured, even when Bing served us all those images in plain text. Take a note of the search filter I've placed on the data. This parameter limits our data to any type of web elements. Silo has protected us from man-in-the-middle style attacks, which is great. This means all our data is secure and contained within Silo and not in the hands of an attacker. Thanks for watching and tune in next time as we explore how a cloud browser protects you from in-browser cryptocurrency miners.